Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Bianca Janelle. I make videos on lifestyle, and today we are doing a morning skincare routine. Very realistic. It is 6 34. I show you guys from the moment I wake up to what my skincare routine is before and after the gym. So, you guys want to see how I get my skin ready for the day, then please keep watching. Okay, so realistically, this is how I wake up in the morning. <laughs> Um, it is 6.10, so usually I go to the gym every day, so I literally just wake up, um, first things first, brush teeth, and then after I brush my teeth, then I brush out my hair, so I keep it pretty simple, um, in the morning because right now we are going to the gym. I do more of my skincare as soon as I get back, um, and shower, of course, and all of that. So I'll be sharing all of that with you, but I wanted to show you it very realistic of, like, how I prep my skin in the morning. Um, so obviously last night I did my skincare routine, which I will leave linked above for you guys. Oh my goodness, this is early to film. Um, <laughs> I'll link that above for you guys. But you can see like my skin pretty much absorbed like all of the skincare from last night. Um, and I don't really like to wash my face first thing in the morning because I, because I still had that skincare on from last night. I don't feel like I need to really wash it away. I mean, I'm just going to the gym right now, so I don't really care um, what I look like too much. <laughs> so what I do instead of like rinsing and washing my face is I take my cellular water and I just like lightly... I just lightly go over my skin with it. So now I just feel awake. Um, I either I do this or I just splash water and I pat my face dry. So I switch between the two. But I'm kind of cold and I don't want to wash my face or rinse my face, I should say. Um, so that's like literally all I do before the gym. And then what I like to do is I like to put on this truly CBD jelly facial serum. I've just been using this for about like a week, so I can't really say too much about it yet. Um, but usually I put this on, I'll put on either like my cloud dew or anything, just because I like there to be like at least some kind of barrier on my face before I put on like my face mask. So, like I said, I just put this on. I can say so far I really like it. I think that this is like brightening up my skin because it has the vitamin A in it. So I really like it. Um, so like I said, I just put this on, um, and then I do my makeup before the gym, and makeup I just do eyebrows, mascara, and lip gloss. I keep it very, very simple. Um, so literally, that's all I do in the morning, because like I said, as soon as I get back from the gym, then I go in with my skincare for the day, but I will share that with you guys as soon as I get back from the gym, so let me go work out, and then I'll come back right after. Okay, so I actually just want to check in right before the gym um if i was whispering earlier it's because my boyfriend was still sleeping so i don't want to be rude but now we're all awake and we're literally about to go to the gym right now so this is exactly how i look right before the gym like i said i don't really care too much i'm going to sweat anyways so that's all i do for skincare but you can see in the morning like i do wake up a little puffy um and then like obviously my under eyes like i feel like i have like really dark circles and especially today i don't know why um anyways so Again, to me, I'm not going to take care of that before the gym. So, right when I come back from the gym, I'm going to show you guys what face mask I like to use and then how I get my skin ready for that. But I just wanted to do a final check-in with you guys right before the gym. So, that way, you can just see what my skin actually really looks like. Um, I woke up with pretty clear skin today. I do have a blemish coming in right here, but that's about it. So, pretty good. So, yeah, I'm going to work out and then I'll check back in with you guys when I'm back. Okay, so I'm back from the gym. Um, usually when I get back from the gym, I like to take the sweat off right away. Um, you can see I kind of sweated out my mascara too. This one's actually waterproof, um, but I think it's just getting old, so I think I have to purchase a new one. So, again, just with my cellular water, I am going to just take the sweat and grime off from the gym. And that's also like why I like to use a serum in the morning, because like I said, it just acts like a barrier, because all that stuff... If I didn't have that serum on, it would literally touch my actual face. But instead, the serum acts as a barrier, so it kind of just covers the barrier. So I'm literally just wiping it off. Um, I don't do a face. Oops, I don't do a face mask every day. 
um just when i feel like i need it but i do feel like i need one today just because i haven't done one all weekend oh no i did do one this weekend but my skin does feel dry so that's why i'm going to do one and my and the face mask i'm going to use today is this pumpkin powerhouse face mask by bliss now bliss has like my favorite face mask actually um in the next video which i'm probably gonna be filming today i'm gonna be talking about my favorite mask my favorite my favorite face mask i should say um and a lot of them are by bliss they're just truly my favorite and they're super affordable you can buy them at target you can even get this stuff off of amazon and everything i talk about today i will link below for you guys um but yeah i love this mask i think this mask is the reason why i've never suffered from mask me like from wearing your mask um, I know a lot of people suffer from it. Um, I also don't wear my mask all day long like other people do because I do work from home. But my skin is sensitive like if I were to have something over it. And I've never really suffered from masking. And I swear it's because of this right here. So this is actually why I like to use it after the gym because at the gym we're forced to wear a mask. So that's why I like using this. And anytime someone tells me that they suffer from masking, I always recommend that they use this because it's a face mask and it's an exfoliant and the pumpkin enzymes help your skin out so again if you're prone to breakouts or acne i think this would be i think this would be really great to try um so yeah so you can see it's very leather i actually have to purchase a new one um so what i do is i put it on and then i kind of rub it in because it is an exfoliant i rub it in and this mask you just have to leave it on for about 10 10 15 minutes and then what i do so my favorite trick with mask is i put it on <clears throat> and this is the reason why i like putting it on before the shower is because i put it on i let it sit for about 10 15 minutes then i get in the shower and i don't rinse it off right away i let the steam from the shower help this i let the steam from the shower help penetrate the mask into our skin so i just kind of I just wash my hair or do anything else before I actually rinse off the face mask. So I try to let it sit in the shower for at least another two to three minutes without rinsing it off. So again, just buff this mask into your skin, especially in this area where you wear your mask. <clears throat> it literally smells like pumpkin spice. This is so good. I got this during fall because I did a skincare video on like pumpkin skincare and I've been using it ever since. I truly love it. Obviously, you can see. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to let this sit for about 10-15 minutes. Then I'm going to jump in the shower. But before I get into the shower, I'm going to just use my Clinique Cleansing Balm to take off my mascara. This is really good for taking off waterproof mascara. It doesn't tug. It like literally just slides off with this cleansing balm. And then after the shower, I'll check back in with you guys and then we'll actually go ahead and do like my morning skincare routine. I am fresh out of the shower. Well, not fresh, fresh out of the shower, but out of the shower. Uh, I just did my hair just to make it easy on myself. And right now my skin is bare. I do have eyebrows and a little bit of mascara on just because I felt a little too naked. So I put a little bit of something on my face for you guys. But other than that, my actual skin is bare. So now I want to show you my morning skincare routine finally um now this is what i do to prep my skin for makeup so usually when i do makeup tutorials this step right here is what i did before that so i get out of the shower and my skin is bare like this one of the first things i always do is i apply a lip balm my lips have been a little bit dry you know what actually my whole skin has been kind of dry since spring has started um yeah it's just kind of acting up and being a little dry so um right now i've been loving the laneige sleeping mask lip sleeping mask um but i use this in the day too it's so soft and buttery like there's always been a lot of hype about this product and i just barely tried it maybe about like three two or three weeks ago and i love it so that's usually what i've been applying um or i'll switch between the summer fries you can see it is so well loved um i've talked about this product forever as well i finally purchased a new one but i'm just trying to finish this all up but this is a really great option to have as well so i love both of them i think they're both very hydrating on the lips one thing i didn't show before i got into the shower was i use this ole hendrickson lucky pucker up lip scrub now this i've been using for the past uh, for the last month um it's just like this i like it just because it's super easy to buff onto your lips and then when taking the shower i rinse it off or um you don't even actually have to rinse it off you can kind of just keep it on there um 
but I like to because then I go apply lip gloss so I don't want anything on my lips. So usually I do that and then I hop into the shower. And then, actually I'm backtracking a bit. Um, and then once I was in the shower, what I like to do, I double cleanse and I've talked about this before. So double cleansing is obviously double cleansing twice. So the first step is to use a cleansing balm to remove the makeup and then the second cleansing and then the second part of that is then to officially take off your makeup with a cleanser. So what I do is I take a little amount of this milk, uh, oh, it's wet, sorry. It's this milk makeup, vegan milk cleanser. I, I really love it. It's so gentle. Now this is what I just use on my eyes because what happens is I go in with either like my fancy brush or my Clarisonic brush to remove the makeup and obviously you don't want to put that on your eyes. So for me to remove the makeup from my eyes, I like using this milk cleanser just because it's so like soft and soothing and it literally just removes my eye makeup no problem whatsoever. But then after that I go in with my face brush, like I said either the fancy one or the Clarisonic one and I've been using the Ula Hendrickson Truth Juice Daily Cleanser. This is a really great cleanser. It literally takes off all of my makeup. It's super gentle on the skin. I've been using it every day. Again, mm, probably for the past month as well and I really enjoy it I would definitely repurchase that um, and I would definitely repurchase this milk cleanser both of them are super amazing I'm just a little extra and I do both of them but either one of them does the whole does the whole job for the whole face as well like you don't have to pick one or the other I like them both evenly and I will be repurchasing both of them so then going back to present time <laughs> I put on my lip balm and then after that I go in with ice so I think I've only mentioned it one other time on this channel I've been so into ice rolling um, you don't have to use this you can literally just use an ice cube and I plan on doing a whole separate video just talking about this alone but I love this because I feel like it helps shrink my pores and then that's why I feel like my makeup has been lasting longer and like I said, the appearance of my pores is a lot better, and I swear it's because of ice rolling. Like, I'm super obsessed with this. I've probably been doing this for about a month and a half, almost close to two months every day, and I've noticed a drastic difference. So, um, I just bought these ice spheres. Um, they're molds. I got them off of Amazon. And like I said, I'm going to do a whole separate video on like how I do it, but this one's just ice. Well, it's water, actually. It's the water. Um, like I have other ones that I put like fruit into them or I've even made some with green tea but I'm still experimenting like I actually want to try one with coconut milk one with oat milk so that's why I'm kind of waiting to do that video because I need to test that stuff before I talk about it but anyways I do know that water itself works perfectly on the skin and I've been loving this so I just get my sphere and I just roll it on my face and it feels so good and so refreshing and yes it does melt so you probably want to do it over the sink but I really focus it right here because this is where my pores are super enlarged and I just buff it in and I just go upwards just like you would with a normal face roller Ooh, it's getting cold okay it's just because it's dripping but normally I'm over the sink when I'm doing this um, but yeah, it feels super good and soothing. So yes, I will be doing a video on this soon, probably in the next like, probably in the next three weeks. I need to test those other things out first. Um, but once I do, I swear you guys are going to love that video because I love the results that I've been getting from this. So yes, yeah, so I just do this all over my face and you can reuse this. All you have to do is rinse it. So I just rinse it under water and then I go pop it back into the freezer. So you can use it up to a couple times that way you're not just like wasting water because obviously you're not going to use a whole sphere. Um, if not, then just grab an ice cube. Like if you don't have a sphere, an ice cube works the exact same way as this. And then after that, usually I kind of just let my skin air dry. But for this video, I'm just going to pat it dry. And then after that, I literally, I really do keep it simple. I literally just use my Summer Friday Cloud Dew. And this is usually the stuff that you start seeing in my makeup tutorials. I go in with this. And I like this product because it's just super light on the skin. And it feels so good. Um, what I do, either I do two things. Either I face roll or... 
I need to use this wash up. So I'm actually gonna probably do a whole separate video on this because I've been obsessed with this tool. I used to do it like probably a year ago and I loved the results I was seeing from it. And then I stopped because I got so many other facial tools and I just kind of got distracted. But I've been loving that so I'm probably gonna make a whole separate video on that alone. But this is usually, like I said, the part that you see in my videos that I start to buff in the cloud dew into my skin. And I really keep it that simple because in the evening, I do a lot to my face. I use a lot of product, a lot of skincare items in the evening, which I will link above for you guys. And that's in my nighttime routine. So that way in the morning, my skin feels prepped and ready. And I don't have to do as many steps because I already pampered my skin the night before. It makes it that simple where I just have to ice roll, put on some lip balm, and then use the cloud dew. And I'm ready to go and I'm ready to apply my makeup. I try to make it as easy as I can on myself in the morning because usually I'm like rushing <laughs> and I'm like ready to do my makeup. So that's usually all I do. And then lately I've been having to put on an eye cream because my eyes have been getting really dry. I think it's just allergy season because you can see even like right here, they're super dry and that's kind of like unusual for me so i've been using this body prescriptions lavender and almond oil and if i'm not using this one then you guys already know i use the ule hendrickson banana bright eye cream that one is my favorite that's probably my favorite favorite <laughs> to use under makeup but this one's a really nice ooh, this one's really nice and soothing and so i just really make sure to buff this in um, and my makeup applies really well over this as well, but usually I like my makeup over the Ule Hendrickson one But today I'm going really light with makeup, so I don't really care what I'm wearing Anything just to hydrate and this one's actually more hydrating So that's why I've been reaching for this one just because like I said I've just been a little bit more dry because of Being a new season and new weather changes and that's literally all I do So just to recap like I said in the morning before I go to the gym. I just put this on um, this helps with the overall tone and brightness of your skin So I like that it has time to set on my skin while I'm at the gym And then when I come back then I literally just keep it that simple like I said because in the morning usually that's when I'm rushing um, If you guys want more skincare items then like I said check out my nighttime routine because I go over a lot of products in that video that help like I said prep my skin for the next day so that way you don't have so much to do um, the next video I plan on shooting is my favorite face mask. So again, when you take care of your skin, then in the morning, you have, you can do less steps. Like that's the beauty of it. And that's why I really make sure to take care of my skin either the night before or I'm always doing face masks. That way I just have a pretty even base for everything. So yeah, so stay tuned for that video because that video will be next. And if you guys want to see any other skincare videos, let me know in the comments down below or a brand or product that you want me to try. I look forward to reading them. And if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Yes.